hello friends i want to share today some quick tips to improve sql performance on ax site i am sharing here so here some point like checking configuration of ax memory setting for sql and regular checking of disk size is important log cleanup data at ax site Usage data at AX site, index op optimization, re indexing, use set based operation, check bad job running sequences, and don't create index directly on SQL site. First uh, point is about check the configuration of AX. So we need to go to see the AX configuration. There is a dynamic CX client configuration. We will click on S, then it will open. Here you will go to developer option. Here you will see enable user uh, breakpoint to debug code in business connector and enable global breakpoint to debug code running in the business connector. So if it is in live environment, then you need to untick these both options. It's your development environment then you can check it for debugging purpose and same way you need to open dynamics ax server configuration here you can see microsoft dynamics ax 2012 server configuration Here, if I, I will take the enable breakpoint to debug X++ code running on the server and enable gro uh, global breakpoints. So, this both option is important. Uh, if your production environment you are using, then this both option should be untick. It will increase your at least 10% performance of AX. You can go to check your database tuning option. Default buffer size is 48. As per your server capability, you can increase it to 96. You can check your default, your CPUs here. So this is the configuration you can check at your server side. It is important part to understand why it's uh, important. Yeah, because these two options is used to debug the code inside the AX. If it is ticked, and it will check whether code need to debug or not. Let's say open dynamic. Don't it talk. Here you can also check the debug option. Debug option at tools options. See here its development tab. You can go to a debug option and uh, debug mode is with breakpoint. If uh, it's production environment then you can check no you can select no for so your code will not go uh, your operation will not go for debugging purpose second option is to check uh, the memory setting on SQL site 
all most of people know how to check the memory at SQL site this option is required because uh, uh, if your RAM is uh, like 32 GB and you have set it to unlimited then on heavy, heavy operations uh, your performance can be degrade can be go down so you need to set your SQL memory in within your RAM utilization like I have set 4 GB you can set if it is your 32 GB RAM then you can set till the 25 GB here and you need to check the regular sized disk of size like here my PC here its properties you are able to see how much is used space how much uh, space is free space so there should be a good free space on C drive or D drive uh, because uh, if it is goes to reach to zero, then your application, your window will not work. It may go to crash. So you need to regular check your hard hard disk space, how much it utilized. Because sometimes due to heavy operation, uh, database size can be large, so it can be fill your hard disk. Uh, sometimes log file size become very much high it can go to 100 GB so it can, it can be utilized in a daytime if your C drive space is 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte then it's good enough for health of your server third option is I'm talking about clean up our log data this is also important part like uh, you can check your log files from like bad job history is one log file which generate after executing all bad jobs and lot of bad jobs set to execute in in a minute workflow job mostly it's set to one minute so it will execute every minute so it will record the history log of as per every minute per job you need to clean clean up of uh, bad job history also you can delete and uh, you can set your range or you can select or delete Our third point is uh, usage data at AX site. Sometimes usage data become very big. You need to reset the usage data. You can uh, to reset the usage data. You can go at same place tools options particular users and just go to usage data and reset the usage data it also helps you to improve the performance of ax and this activity you can do weekly basis and index optimization is very important part after analyzing their queries you may get that some missing indexes you can watch my one more video uh, which I uh, have uh, how to get the missing indexes uh, in my channel you can subscribe to get all video details or you can bookmark my channel links uh, so you will get the details uh, in 2012 there is an include option available 
for index creation by any table so go to the index node you will get here include option is no and you can set as per your requirement that's this column is treated as s and this three field include columns is, is no so include column is very important uh, in this uh, point of view of size of index if it is include column then it will be lesser size if it is include column no then it is a bigger size so at per requirement it will it will create the index buckets and the backend if it is no then it will permanently create the buckets for index and reindexing is also a very important part you can do uh, set the reindexing by job as your agent job by using management maintenance plan here we have already shown how to uh, create maintenance plan for reindexing you can add maintenance plan wizard to set the reindexing job here Rebuild index option is you can use for your database to set the job uh, periodically to rebuild your indexes but also help to improve your performance and you need to use set based operation in x uh, mostly new developer use like while select a statement then they update use table dot update and uh, same way you, they use delete and insert but uh, if it uh, the, your code is set in record set based operation then you should use this operation it is faster than normal index and update and delete method in x one more option is check base job running sequences You can check your batch job running sequence how here uh, you can go to system administrator and you can check batch jobs and go to recurrences you can see which time it is set for execution you can set it in sequential manner like uh, 8 o'clock then you can select next job at 10 o'clock next job 11 o'clock it will it will be in sequence then it they will not execute at once if it will all job execute at once the performance will be down you will not able to know high system performance is down if it is in sequentially manner execution will be sequentially manner then uh, performance will be not uh, will not be down and last option is the don't create indexes directly on SQL side because if you if you create from SQL side then uh, it will loss after some time because AX synchronize a database from front end AOT so if you create for indexes from AOT application object tree then it will remain permanently if you will create a from SQL side then it will delete automatically but if there is no ERP of AX and directly you have developed some application in ASP.NET or Java or any other standard language then you can create uh, index directly from SQL side. You will not get option to create index from .NET. 
uh, I can use dynamic queries, but it will be difficult. But from AX part point of view, you don't need to create indexes directly on SQL side. So it's all about summaries. I hope you understand what I want to tell. You get all the points. I really thank you. Lot of people subscribe to my channels and it's a new channel and it's growing day by day thanks to all users of subscribing my channel and I am also appealing to all of my friends who have not subscribed yet please subscribe it you will get online training freely fully free on YouTube in the form of video clips Thanks for watching and keep in touch. Thank you.